Hey guys, we are looking at compound equalities, okay? Super exciting things happening, all right? So we have 5H is greater than 25 and H plus 5 is less than 17. So compound equalities, you, they give us more than one equal, inequality and usually it's either um, it's going in opposite directions or they join together, okay? And if that didn't make any sense, just go ahead and watch, all right? So... We have 5H is greater than 25. I want my H alone, right? So to get my H alone, we're going to divide by 5 on both sides, right? Remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you flip the sign, but this one's positive, so we don't have to worry about it. So we've got H is greater than 5, and we've got H plus 5 is less than 17. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides and get H is less than 17 minus five gives me 12, okay? So what this is telling me is H is bigger than five and it's smaller than 12, right? So we it's within a limit there, okay? So we could also write this, sometimes you'll see it written something like this where they just have H in the middle, okay? And we know H is less than 12, right? That's just from here and h is bigger than five, right? So we're actually gonna flip it around, but it means the same thing, right? h is still, or the sign is still open to the h, okay? All right, now we are going to graph these. So let me go ahead and write some numbers on my number line. So we're gonna have zero, one, two, three, four. Are you enjoying watching me write these numbers? I bet you are, you're welcome, all right. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now H is greater than five, right? So here's my five. Because there's not an equal to um, under the greater than, that means H can't be five, right? So I'm going to do an open circle above five, okay? You can do it right on the number line. I just kind of like to do it above because it's easier to see, but you can do it right on the number line if you'd like to, okay? All right, so H is greater than five. So we know greater than five is gonna go that way, right? But I'm not gonna draw the whole thing because we've got another limit, right? But I know it's gonna be going this direction, right? All right, then we've got H is less than 12. Again, there's no equals, equal to under there. So I'm gonna do an open circle and it's less than 12, meaning it's gonna go this way, right? So, that is what my graph is going to look like. A great representation. You can just quickly look at this and be like, well, can H be 10? Yes, it can. Can H be 1? No. Okay. So hopefully this made sense. I'll link some other videos if you need them. Thanks. Bye.